Hi there. Hi, everyone. Welcome to BuzzyBots. I'm your host, Suresh, and we have here Sahiti from BuzzyBots. Today, we will talk about amazing things that BuzzyBots is doing and the latest projects that they are up to. Hi, Sahiti. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So some for some of our uh, viewers, can you please talk a little bit about what BuzzyBots is about? Okay, Busy Boss is a nonprofit organization, and we've been like doing it for the past four years. And basically, we show all of our projects in it, and we do things such as robotics and um, programming. So basically, what we believe is that when with technology, you can really do anything, and there's a lot of things that you can improve in this world and technology helps us with a lot of them so we solve problems to like really simple things like knowing how much water you need to put in your farm to even more like important things like your home security and we use different things such as raspberry pi and dc motors and different programming languages like python and scratch and etc Wow, that's very exciting. Uh, I would love to learn more about uh, what you guys are doing. Can you please talk about some of the latest projects that you guys are working on? Yeah, recently I've been exploring something called Thunkable, which is basically a no-code app development platform. So using it is really easy. It's like just drag and drop and you just have to put in whatever code you need and you don't have to write it or type it out, which is something that's like really awesome about it. And you can publish it onto the app store and the play store, which is like really amazing. So anyone with Apple devices or um, Samsung or Android devices can um, access the apps. Wow, that's wonderful. So what you are saying is uh, by just writing with the no code development platform, mm -hmm. you don't need to learn code. And the best part is you can actually uh, deploy your app onto both Google Android ecosystem as well as the Apple uh, devices. That's actually yeah. very exciting. I know I would love to learn more about it for sure. I do know sometime back, I think uh, you are using the App Inventor. So mm -hmm. I'm just curious to know why you guys switched from App Inventor to Thunkable. Yeah, so basically App Inventor was also amazing. It, it had it was drag and drop as well. And it was like pretty easy to use as well. But the thing was that you could only publish your apps onto the Google Play Store. So that was like that was great, but I felt like having it on so with Dunkable, you can put it on both the App Store and the Google Play Store. And I felt that would be um, more fun because like more users have access to um whatever apps you develop, which was the plus sign. And Thunkable has a lot of amazing components. Like you can connect, you can connect Thunkable with local databases. So information from your app, you can put it into fake databases, which is really amazing. So you can like save information. And there's a lot of other components um, that are like really fun to play with. And it can just like bring your apps to the next level, which is really fun. When you start developing, you will have a lot of questions to ask, and then you would really want to go and talk to somebody or get some mm -hmm. help, right? So right. that's really where I'm curious because for most of these first-time learners or even some advanced learners, it's not very easy to get started with something. Can you please talk about that whole experience, the, how you got started, and then what kind of support you got from the platform? Okay, so basically in Thunkable, first of all, there's a bunch of tutorials for simple things like adding sounds or like using um, a slider component, which is one of the components Thunkable has, so it's like a slider. And Thunkable has this whole documentation thing where basically it'll, so it has a website or a section for each and every component that they have. And they explain how exactly um, to use it and like what you can use it for, how you can use it, the different options that are in it and what each option means or like what each option is and things like that. And there is a Thunkable Help Center where if you have any questions that like weren't answered in the documentations um, or any of the tutorials, then you can actually ask your questions and anyone from the Thunkable team or other people who work with Thunkable 
and know the answers can help you out with your question, which is amazing because it's almost like talking to someone in real life. Very nice. Got it. So now let's dive into the project that you guys did. If you don't mind, can you talk about the project and then probably can you share it in real time so that our viewers can see it? Yeah. So one of the most recent projects that I've been working on is called Cosmic ASMR. And basically what this app is about is bringing relaxation to people who are anxious or stressed about things or who just want to have fun or relax. So ASMR basically stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Basically, it's it's long. So basically what that means is it's like a tingling sensation that starts from your scalp and it just goes down your body. And if you want to simplify that more, it's just like a relaxing feeling that you just feel like through your whole body and it's just like really calming and all that. So why, so like, where did I get the idea of this app? I, and so right now we're in the middle of this whole like worldwide pandemic and all this, and it brought a lot of stress to a lot of people because you've been separated from family members doing like your daily things. So this is a time where people like really need things like ASMR to just help them calm down. So that's why I made this app for people who really need it at this time right now. And my app has a lot of like just calming games and sounds and like vibrations. So that's really what my app's about. Wonderful. It looks like I'm really stressed right now and I could really use your app. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and we can take a look. So this is my app. This is where you can view it on the, so this is like the web page um, preview. And I have six mini games over here. Each of them has like different things you can do. So the first one is called Bouncing Bubbles. Um, This is what it is. Basically what I have over here is bubbles that are bouncing and you can drag them um, and you can drag them around and just like have fun with them. And I release them. So that's what this game is about. It's just like relaxing music, bubbles that are like just coming all around. Very nice. So I see there is a a vibration icon at the top. So does it vibrate? Right. This is, vibrations actually take up a lot of battery for people who just don't want vibrations or they just don't need it at that moment. They can turn it on and off over here. So when you click on a bubble on a mobile device, you can actually feel a vibration and it's just like really fun, but you can always turn it on and off. That's very good. If you can go back to your uh, bouncing ball, uh, bubbles mm-hmm. one time. So one thing I was really curious is how are you actually making the balls fall down? And then there is also some kind of uh, bouncing that is happening. So what kind of programming did you use for this? Right. So for this, I, so with programming, I can actually like bring in a gravity concept. So that's what I did over here. The ball or the bubble I put in a gravity concept to each of these bubbles and so when I release it you can see it like falls down and with programming of course I also it just bounces bounces and eventually it'll just like keep going and then it'll stop very nice there are a lot of uh, new concepts that got introduced here very nice thank you so if you don't mind at this point of time for our audience can you uh, show the bright drops Sure. Basically what this is, when you click on the droplet, then it'll change to when the screen background will change to the color of the droplet. I clicked on the red one, so the screen backdrop can change to a red color. This is blue, pink, yellow, um, dark blue, green, purple, red. Very nice. So Sahiti, one, one common theme that I've noticed in all your games is, uh, especially with the ASMR, mm-hmm. there is a very soothing music that is there as backgrounds for all these things. So is that a common practice with the ASMR because it has to soothe in and it has to calm you? 
Uh huh. Yeah. So I I wanted to use these kind of like relaxing things because it really calms the mind and just it's just like really soothing. So you could just enjoy the moment and just be like have that like relaxing sensation. With. Looks like you have many games in the same part of it. So I'm sure I think our when are you uploading this game to the App Store? This will be in the App Store in about one month because it's, it's quite a process. And so I we're gonna start taking those steps very soon. And soon people, anyone who really has access to App Store and the Google Play Store can play this game. very nice what whatever you have shown us it seems really exciting on what you did programming and thunkable seems to be a pretty nice platform for people to try out and develop the games and nevertheless saiti it's really exciting what uh, you are doing with busy bots and uh, especially these games and with that i would say thank you very much for showing the work and we can't yeah. wait to download the app once it is out there in the play store or uh, itunes so yeah. that's really nice and once again you know thanks for your time and we will come back again with the fun and innovative projects pretty soon yeah. and until then have fun with technology and keep learning okay bye bye thank, thank you saiti bye